different than a lot of other hotels. First of all, as you can see, it has these very vibrant colors, a lot of glitter, purple, and in general, it's a very youthful vibe here at W Bangkok. And the first thing that I noticed was, if you look here on these patterns, they have like these Thai boxing gloves since it's like, I think it's the national sport on Thailand. Second thing that I noticed was the greeting because a lot of times you have like a nice fruit basket or nuts. Here it's very different. They really seem to care about their cocktails. So here you have like your own cocktail kit for gin and tonics. So yeah, I'm actually supposed to make my own cocktail. The ingredients, put the ingredients which you like in the glass. Lime, oh the smell. Ginger. Oh, lemongrass, that's the best. Orange, lemon. Okay, there's also, is it chili or red pepper? <gasps> Definitely chili. Alright! <laughs> Boom, what else? Oh my god, look at this gin and tonic. Oh, let me show you the because it's actually quite cool as well. A lot of table, very clean, very modern, and here a bathtub. Mm. And we're on this 27th floor right now. Oh yeah, oh my god, look at the view. And the building right next to me is actually the tallest building in Thailand. So now when I show you my beautiful room, I will go downstairs to the bar here at W Bangkok and meet a very special someone. It's a Thai celebrity, I'm not going to say more. And he will introduce me to some of the typical Thai flavors. So right now I'm sitting in the bar of W Bangkok with this special someone, meet Luke. Hi. And maybe you want to tell who you are. Well, I'm, I'm from Thailand, so I'm a local here. I do also TV show and food. I travel for food. That's so, what I do. Same, same, but different, yeah? Yes, that's, yeah. now you're Thai. So since he is Thai, mm -hmm. he is going to introduce him to some typical Thai flavors. But we know that it's going to be Thai. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. That's what they say. That's the road, yeah. Wow! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> now we cannot see us. Here, I'm here. <laughs> Whoa, now, see, this is not time, by the way. Okay. This is our national dish for dessert, for sure. Like orange cake, okay? So, we have satay, a little... you know what that is? I know. Yep. Go ahead and try. Okay. So, chicken satay. It's peanut sauce. So this is a typical Thai thing, and in general, maybe Asian thing? I think so, but we, we have this on our street. But okay. like, you go on the street and you eat it. Alright, so let's try it. Okay. I like it. It's sweet. Spicy and sweet. Sauce is sweet and spicy. No, 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 no. I can eat it, but no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. so what is the next thing? It was the pomelo salad? With shrimp. With shrimp? Mm -hmm. But you said that was not Thai, or was it? Well, it's made by a Thai guy, so... Okay, so everything that's made by a Thai guy is Thai. <gasps> Join this. I don't think it reminds me of Thai flavors. Oh, this is Thai. It is Thai? Mm. Fish sauce? Mm -hmm. A lot of fish sauce. Smell my fingers. This is definitely fish sauce. Yeah. No, it's this one. Like we have so many diverse things, not just pad thai or tom yam pung. We don't eat we don't eat the the soup as just the soup. Yeah, we have rice and then we have soup and we have everything and chef. That's what I like about Asian culture in general. People seem to really share food, and that way you really get to taste more. Right? Like the, I think we we are like the Italians, Italian of the East. That's what we are. The, the dessert? The dessert, please don't use the same fork. It must be good. It cannot not good. It, I mean, it's mango is good, sticky rice is good, coconut milk is mm. great. 
I like it. Wuba, which is the bar here where we're at, is actually very nice as well with the atmosphere and apparently you can get this food served as well. So I think next time maybe Fluke you will cook some Thai food for me instead. No, to cook Thai food is not that easy. It's been so nice to get some company, especially on my day of arrival, so thank you so much. So welcome to Bangkok. here at W Bangkok. The cool thing that I just noticed is you have one of these by the bed like a little tablet and you can actually set the alarm from here. Not disturb. If you don't want anyone to disturb you, you can like instead of a physical sign on the door, aircon, you can even control the aircon from here. The lighting. So yeah, I'm turning off the lights and I will see you tomorrow for a very fun day here at W Bangkok. Or sleep, my love. Yep. Good night. Good morning and welcome to my first day here at W Hotel. Now I'm going to the fitness center of W Bangkok to wake up properly on top of this coffee and then I shall have the best of the day which is the breakfast. sweaty fitness session in the gym and as I told you before I am so ready for breakfast breakfast is my ultimate favorite meal especially when I can get it in bed it's something different because usually when you're at home you're busy and you don't prepare the time to actually get the breakfast in bed I'm very indecisive when it comes to food so I always end up ordering one of each ready for Oh my god. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh my god, look at these beautiful portions. And the funny thing is they came with three sets of cutlery because they probably think that I ordered all this for three people. So I have the ricotta pancakes here. I have the avocado toast, organic green salad with roasted zucchinis. Look how nice they prepare it and like the whole arrangement of fruit, sliced fruit, Greek yogurt. This is French toast. They are so cute. And this is the X Royale mango juice here, fresh and passion juice. as an eye and something even cooler is that underneath the water there is also music you're like having a party all day and all night even in the pool Let's go and fill our tummies!
So unfortunately my time here at W Bangkok has come to an end and as always in Inspector Lux it is going to end with a beautiful afternoon tea and this time I'm sitting at as a ZW hotel with the general manager Contina Ortina. I have actually had one of my best experiences ever in this hotel. That's so good to hear and we are very happy to have you stay with us at W Bangkok. The first question that I want to ask is how do you feel that you differentiate from other five-star hotels here in Bangkok? Well, we like to say that W Bangkok is a luxury hotel that sits alongside luxury, but we're not bound by it. And what really differentiates us is our core passion points: music, fashion, design, and fuel. Compared to other five-star hotels, you feel you feel relaxed. It has been it has been really really great. The next question that I want to ask is, without lying or exaggerating, I have also had one of my best dining experiences and cocktail experiences here in W Bangkok. Tell me your secret. We want to be a destination within a destination for our in-house guests. And we also, you know, try to create a very thriving restaurant and bar scene for our local guests as well. Um, I think last night you dined in our award-winning restaurant, The Dining Room. We actually recently just won an award for Asia's Best 50 uh, restaurants by San Pellegrino. And it's basically modern Turkish influence cuisine. So as I also earlier said, the House of Saturn is very different from the rest of W Bangkok. And it's actually also here that I've had best dining experience and concert experiences. The last question that I want to ask is what is the coolest thing that people can look forward to in 2017? Well definitely our newest passion point which is fuel. Basically W is a brand on healthy living. So it's the detox, retox, detox, retox, repeat. Yeah, so you've been exactly. doing it already. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and I will repeat again next year when I'll probably come back. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Inspector Lux. Don't forget to subscribe and follow if you're into fashion or luxury hotels or nice food. I'll see you again in two weeks. Again, thank you so much for watching. Bye!